Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. Uh, this is, you know, if you enjoy Nintendo news, you enjoy rumors, you enjoy speculation and discussion around video games, and specifically Nintendo, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon so you're notified of every video we do, drop a like and leave a comment. Uh, and today we're actually talking about a brand new rumor uh, as it pertains to Breath of the Wild 2. Uh, very interesting stuff, uh, coming in hot, coming in fresh from one of our good buddies that was actually the source on uh, rumor we covered a little bit ago, uh, potentially dealing with uh, Demise being the main enemy in the game. And this information comes from the same source. Uh, we're talking about Nintendo Academy. And he sent me this message uh, and gave me permission to, to talk about it here. Uh, so this message was sent via Discord. He actually got this from his own uh, sources. So, you know, if it ends up not being right, I guess uh, the fingers are pointed at you, buddy. Uh, here is what it says. So I'm sharing this info with you. You can choose to share it or not, LOL. Laugh out loud, ha ha ha. I'm just not going to share it since it has so much potential of being true. From the email. Hey Mike, I just wanted to share a little inside info with you. It's Breath of the Wild sequel related and you can share it if you want. Just you know, keep me out of it. LOL. Demise breaks out of the sword. Breath of the Wild 1 is all his plan. He used Ganon and also used Link and Zelda, the towers and powers from the ancient tech to free Demise. So basically, Demise kind of fooled Link and Zelda into recovering the ancient tech power so that Ganon can then use the power to free Demise. Link and Zelda fall into the trap and bring the Master Sword to where Demise can be freed. The Master Sword is still alive, and Fi, Fi, Fo, I never know how to pronounce that, helps Link by making his arm a type of Sheikah slate. So Link now needs the Goddess Sword to defeat Demise and trap him back into the Master Sword. That's all I have. I'll share with more with you as soon as I can. Looking at March 3rd as a release date with a direct the first week of February dedicated to the game. So obviously in there, release date, March 3rd. I mean, widely speculated, widely hoped by many Zelda fans to land on the sixth anniversary. Uh, and that would obviously fit with, within their spring 2023 release date um, timing. Also, obviously, there's a lot to break down in this mix. Uh, things about demise and exact story details. I find this to all be really, really fascinating, of course. I don't know if any of this is true. So whenever we talk about this stuff, to clarify, these are rumors for a reason. I can't verify any of this information. I don't have direct contact with his sources to verify credentials. This is just me going off the trust I have in Mike Perez from Nintendo Academy that this is worth at least having a discussion on. And I'm very curious um, what this means for the future of this game. And uh, you know, he talked in the past about uh, the prior rumor to this from the same source, talked about how Demise uses Ganon slash Ganondorf sort of as a puppet character, which is quite interesting because, you know, we know Ganon slash Ganondorf has used other people as puppets in the past. I mean, you can just point to, you know, a certain Zant character from Twilight Princess as, you know, a, a semi-recent example of that. So there's been puppet characters before, but Ganon slash Ganondorf has never been a puppet himself. He's always been the puppet master. But if you know anything about Skyward Sword, and this is a little bit of spoilers from the Skyward Sword game. If you haven't played it yet, I apologize. But what are you doing watching a video on this kind of rumor content? And at this point, if you aren't okay with spoilers, uh, Demise actually creates the curse that enables Ganondorf to even have the powers he has and to exist in the first place. So if he could be a puppet to anyone, it would be Demise. So I, I do find this all interesting. Obviously, the fact that we somehow need the Goddess Sword of all things, I always found that interesting because I think the Goddess Sword became the Master Sword, didn't it? So does that mean we have to go back in time? Is there, is there time travel where we have to get it before it becomes that? Maybe I'm misremembering, which is entirely possible. It's been a hot minute since I played Skyward Sword. Um, I, I thought the Goddess Sword became the Master Sword, but I, I could be wrong on that. Uh, this obviously, you know, confirms the return of, of Fee. Uh, this, this, you know, is Girahim going to be involved in the scheme somewhere? That would be very interesting to find out if he can even come back, if he even still exists, uh, because it's not really clear at the end of Skyward Sword if he does still exist if he's trapped along with Demise or what's happening there. So uh, it, it's going to be quite interesting if this is the direction. I'm really excited for this potential story. But again, this is just a rumor. I am Nintendo Prime. Um, 
this is really fun to talk about. You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Uh, also, as a fun note here at the end, you guys liking me being back at the sit-down set? You guys liking this, huh? You know, I've been doing a lot of videos, obviously, uh, at the streaming set. Uh, the lighting here is a lot better. Obviously, we got the TV behind us going pretty well. I know there's a little bit of, you know, glare right here. Nothing I could really do about that. I might be able to frame it a bit better, but I'm trying to get the full video back in here. Like, we have a different background that's going to be going on behind me that's going to make that so I can frame it a little different. But for right now, whenever I'm playing, like, video clips on repeat like this, that's just what it's going to look like. Um, so, thoughts on this. Do you remember my old set? And if you remember my old set, do you like this sit-down set even better? That's what I would like to know because I would like to do a lot more news reporting right here from this set in full 4K 60 FPS with no lighting problems whatsoever. So thank you guys for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rebel Jets from Nintendo Prime, and I'm going to catch each and every one of you in the next video.